Mr. Speaker, as we return this week, we must confront our nation's sickening gun violence. My commitment to act is even stronger after my own terrifying experience. My wife Judy and I were at the Gilroy Garlic Fest when a shooter opened fire. We heard the pops, then screams, and we turned and ran for our lives. Three people were killed, but it could have been much worse if not for law enforcement's quick action. It almost seems like a bad dream, but it was real, just as the threat of gun violence in our nation is all too real. This violence has social and spiritual roots, but there are common sense laws we can enact to stem gun violence. I've met people beg me for Congress to act, including proud gun owners who understand that we can pass gun safety laws while also upholding the Second Amendment. This week, the Senate should start by passing a comprehensive background check bill that we passed in the House earlier this year. Doing nothing is not an option. Congress must act. I yield back.